I am supposed to run a speed run today, but I have a sick kid. It's been a long night, and I can't really just leave him. Looks like that speed run's gonna get pushed off until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna fix the hubs, some breakfast, and lunch. I wanted to take a quick second and show you the protein shake that I'm gonna be making for him this morning. It's one of his favorites. It's called a frozen hot chocolate protein shake. You're gonna need chocolate protein powder, cocoa, your favorite sweetener, your favorite milk, and some chocolate syrup. So I'm gonna to try to stick with close to six ounces of milk, and of course ice, scoop of powder, Half a tablespoon of cocoa powder. The same amount, a little bit extra on the sweetener. Yes, I know about sugar. I like to blend it, and then while it's blending and pretty well mixed, I'll take off this part and put the chocolate syrup inside. <laughs> If you want, you could even throw in a couple of ounces of coffee instead of water and milk. But I like a second cup. I like having two cups in the morning. I like to have a cup of coffee and my warm protein shake or my meal replacement drink, which is why I do 12 ounces of liquid. It makes it really thick if I do it just eight ounces. And I have two flavors. I have a scoop of mocha in place of coffee and a scoop of salted caramel. It'll taste just like a salted caramel mocha. Something really important when it comes to using a warm drink on the blender is you've got to remember that there's going to be pressure that builds up. So hold it away from your face and gently crack it open a little like you're opening up a soda that has been shook up. That way you don't have some hot liquid explode in your face. And now all that's left is to sit down and enjoy this at 9.45 in the morning. It's been a long morning. But I want to make sure that I'm fueled and ready for my run tomorrow.